How's it going YouTube? So, kind of on these dumpster bags. I know I've been showing you periodically throughout the videos, but check this out. One dumpster bag, two dumpster bag, one dumpster. The funny thing is, that's actually their second dumpster. This happened over the weekend. Uh, they needed a dumpster. I brought them this one. I had just emptied one the night before. Um, so I had a total of two dumpsters that I could basically make work for them. And that still wasn't enough. They couldn't get dumpsters from anybody else, it seemed like. So they're like, do you have anything we can throw this stuff in? I was like, well, I have these dumpster bags. So I brought them those as well. And they, I mean, they hardly filled this thing. I can, I literally, these bags were on this side of the driveway over here. And I drug them by hand. So there's probably maybe a couple hundred pounds combined there. But I only charge 165 for each of these and both of these bags are definitely reusable so I'll be coming back later with the other trailer to pick these up but this is why I like these because I'm gonna combine these into a dumpster and this won't even cover the bottom of the dumpster so you can get probably six to ten of these uh, rented out and fit them into one of these dumpsters no problem so there's definitely a market for these and I'm, I'm really liking them I, I think it was a good uh, trial and I think I'm gonna keep doing them but, yep, got to get this one picked up, get it emptied, and uh, I might take that one out to the shop or one of the others out to the shop and maybe start consolidating some of these bags. All right, guys, so we got the new trailer loaded up. There are the flatbed trailer loaded up, um, and I want to show you my redneck ingenuity. This is a proof of concept that I'm working on, so just keep that in mind. So these bags are actually way more durable than you think. You can drag these. This one's full of tile. That one's full of lumber and uh, drywall but if you've ever seen like a deer stand of sort not a deer stand but a deer hoist when you're skinning a deer it's basically what I've made here and what it does is it provides leverage so when this deck gets tilted up this then has a little bit more leverage to actually lift the edge of the bag up and then set it on here and drag it the rest of the way these I just dragged flat because I didn't have this yet. So we're literally testing this live. Uh, so we'll see how it actually works out. This thing is nice and tight in here. I've got it pinched here, I've got it pinched in here, and then between the rail here. So, it, I mean, it's a little rough looking, but don't forget this is literally made out of two by fours right now. Uh, some treated two by fours. So we're gonna see, we've got the snatch block there. Um, that is actually pretty handy to have in your truck at all times, but uh, essentially this winch will just bring the bags in and then if this works the way I want I want to then make this out of some kind of metal probably steel and I'll actually then also mount a crane on this part of the trailer so I can still move my con my shipping containers on and off of here without the crane being in the way but I can essentially just pick up bags from the side of the trailer too and set them on here and I can actually stack them onto here so that's the grand plan but like I said Proof of concept, the bags I have right now are super light, so I'm testing it out, making sure this works at all. And then we'll go from maybe beefing the system up a little bit. We'll see. Well, someone's making my job easier because, I mean, these bags were pretty light. But uh, I think we had a uh, scavenger. That used to have a pot. Now it's just dirt. So it looks like we had a scavenger go through here. So. This is going to be a really light test. I'll probably just combine this bag because there's like five things in it. That's just kind of comical. Gotta love it. All right, that took all of literally 45 seconds. And the bag's still pretty light. So, um, I mean, I can move it around. I might have a couple hundred pounds in here, but that's about it. So, that's awesome because they paid for both. But whatever. All right, so when I did drag this across the driveway, there was a board with some nails on the bottom. So as you can see, you got two little, three little holes and then a very small one right there. So something to keep in mind, yeah, you can probably reuse these bags, but probably once or twice. Um, I wouldn't be, and I'd make sure it's not gonna be like construction stuff and then construction stuff again because uh, it'll probably be ruined uh while you're trying to load it so you don't want that to happen you don't want a huge tear see there's 
that tear right there that's that's a decent sized tear this bag might not get reused i'm not sure yet depends on what it's for i guess hmm good to notice that stuff All right, so I just basically interlocked all the handles together to give us, you know, some closed edges so things aren't popping out. Got quite a bit of slack in this, so let's go ahead and bring that bad boy in a little bit. Of course, my hook to port just broke today, so missing that little latch. Have to go get a new one, but let's see what just happens. What I usually do is I kind of help it over this lip right here. Then after that, it's pretty easy. So we'll see if we can do this with one hand, especially since it's a light bag. That's all there is to it. I mean, for the most part, it's working exactly the way I wanted. Awesome. Easy enough. So even the heaviest of construction material, like this bag right here, I was able to drag all over the trailer. So um, hopefully that'll be the case. Of course, I'm sure one day I'll get somebody as an absolute jerk and overloads it or puts way more than they're supposed to into here. but. Um, as of now, I haven't had too much trouble after uh, a couple loads of these things. So, uh, what we do from here is just basically bring this close to it. I'm actually going to turn this one this way. I know the other two went that way, but for now I'm just going to leave it as that. And we'll get it all tied up. Make sure that it, uh, we don't have stuff blown down the road. It's not pretty with some more Harbor Freight netting. And she's in place. So that's it. We'll take it to the shop later and uh, load them all up into other dumpsters. Yay! Another beautiful morning in the Midwest. All right, guys, like I said, welcome to the Midwest. So it's the next morning. I picked up a couple more things by the end of the day. So you can take a look at that. Look like a dang junk removal service now. Got a very uh, crappy lawnmower, a slide, just some stuff some friends and family asked if I could grab. And I said, sure, why not? I had room, but now it's raining. It's right before the weekend, so I kind of need to get this thing unloaded because, of course, I need this trailer. So, never fails. So, we're going to get this all unloaded. We're going to go break out the skid steer in the rain, unload all this, put it into a dumpster I have sitting there at the shop because I started cleaning out some stuff that was, uh, well, that I think I honestly inherited when I bought the shop um, that the previous owner never cleaned out. So. I've got a dumpster that's partially filled. We're going to put all this in it. So let's get going.
I've actually loaded these this way. And uh, one thing to notice right off the bat is it's not necessarily super easy. And the first thing I should not have done was park my trailer all the way on the other side of the shop, but I didn't know if I was actually gonna stay at first. So I was gonna leave it there. Uh, but also, I can't really use the very large dumpsters that I have that are seven feet tall because as you can see, I was maxed out there on height. So I kind of had to put it in uh, at an angle. So we're learning as we do this guys. So this is kind of a good thing to get on film if you guys were thinking about doing this because there's definitely some just uh, logistics you gotta figure out and make sure that you're uh, you know, prepared for you just randomly do something that you're not prepared for like I am. All right, if you use your brain a little bit, there's a second set of loops on these bags and it kind of keeps it way sturdier and you're gonna get a lot more height when you pick them up because if you look, there's like a second set there that are much closer to the bag. So yeah, and it's not swinging nearly as much as that other one and I'm going a lot faster. That other one had so much construction material in it, I was actually nervous the entire time that I was gonna swing it so much that it ripped. So luckily this one doesn't seem to be the case and we'll probably get a lot more height in it. Yep, way easier this time. Way, way easier. Well, boys and girls, this is why you don't rush. You pay attention to your surroundings. I had the bucket clamped in there and I was pulling it and I had the arms up too high and I uh, I caught my good garage door. Couldn't tear off the bad one. Got the good one. The one that was nice and straight and even and insulated. Yeah, I wanted to replace that anyway, right? Well, it is what it is. That was definitely a, um, a learning experience. So, as you saw, that wasn't probably the most efficient way to load and unload those bags, but keep in mind, I'm still kind of testing it because I want to see if these bags are even worth it at all and if there's going to be a high demand for them. If there is, I'm going to have a completely separate rig for this where I don't even have to load and unload them. You know, I just am loading them into a dumpster as I'm picking them up from a customer and then that's it. After that, uh, it should be way more efficient, but right now I'm just experimenting uh, with mostly the market. And of course, I'm also destroying my shop in the process. So, that's lovely, because now the skid's actually locked in there because I got the garage door closed and then it wouldn't open again. So, that'll be fun to try to get out later. But, pouring down rain, I got other things to worry about. You just, sometimes you just gotta accept it and move on. It is what it is. So, thanks again, like, subscribe, follow, and hopefully I make future content. Right now, I'm not sure. No, I'm kidding, I'll be back. I just, rough start to an early morning, that's for sure, guys. Have a good time, thanks again.